didn't we just do this? Okay, people, welcome back to another Robo Ramble? Ramble Society. Ooh, that's too close to Mezco. The Ramble Alliance. Ramble scum. Or whatever we want to eventually call this if this becomes a scheduled thing because I don't plan on that happening. In fact, I'm doing this today because I was waiting for a couple of things in the mail to review and they didn't show up. <sighs> but there was a couple of Hasbro Star Wars Black Series reveals this week and you know that's my bread and butter. I always have things to say when there are Star Wars reveals and I will talk about this in the weekly but I try to keep that condensed. I try to keep things moving along during the weekly whereas during rambles I just go wherever the brain may take me. So if you don't mind me carrying on for 10-15 minutes stick around but if you want the short and sweet version come back Saturday is when the weekly goes up on YouTube. For the first reveal, uh, oh, it hit a lot of people in the wrong place, I think. That would be the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series comic book, Black Kersantan. And you have to keep comic book in mind. It is a lot of reuse of the Black Series Chewbacca, which I think at this point is outdated. In fact, for a while now, I've thought it's too tall, too lanky, and it's definitely too tall and too lanky for Black Kersantan. Although if you go Google searching through comic images, depending on the artist, depending on the art, depending on the series, he does look like a dark furred Chewbacca sometimes. But a lot of the other times, it looks more like we saw in Book of Boba Fett, where he's big, he's bulky, he's a brute. So there is a basis for this. This is accurate in some cases. The problem is we're coming right out of a very nicely done live rendition of this character. That's what was on everybody's minds. So first reaction to this is oh, I, uh, what? Because on top of it being mostly Chewbacca, it's also, well, the bandolier and the belt sculpt is fairly nice. The problem is there's no paint to it. It just looks like a plastic piece thrown on. The new head sculpt with the eye scar isn't bad. I don't care for open mouths, but this is an angry dude. So I, I don't mind it too much. And then there is just the black plastic that looks glossy all over. I would like to see this in normal lighting uh, with a wash or a dry brush to bring in a, some kind of color contrast so it doesn't just look like a hunk of plastic with a gold bar on it saying all that though and this is going to piss some people off because there's a huge this figure shouldn't exist it's such a slap in the face it's not terrible whoa, whoa, whoa stop don't get me wrong it is not great it's maybe not even good but it's not terrible it's kind of middle of the road and that's what we've become accustomed to when it comes to fan channel and that's what this is fan channel it's not mainline it's not exclu well i guess it is kind of exclusive to several places but it was going to be reuse right from the start when it was announced to be fan channel that should have been our first mental image that's not me making excuses either that's just the way it's always worked is this disappointing yeah but on the comic shelf along with all the other comic figures that are mostly reuse in these book looking things meh, meh the second release is an easier pill to swallow because of its accuracy because of the new added parts i don't know what it is about amazon exclusives that get a little extra tlc but the bad batch cad bane has most of the necessary sculpt changes to make it look like what we saw in the animated series. In fact, the only blatant reuse, the only obvious reuse, is I think the crotch and the upper legs and the forearms with the gauntlets. That leaves new lower legs, new boots, new upper arms, I think. I don't know what's under the short sleeves of that first release of Cad Bane. New shoulder pads, new torso, new head, new hat. In fact, putting it side by side with the series, it's just a few paint hits short of being almost completely accurate i mean there's the hat size and a few things here and there but yeah damn close which is what the black series usually does with animated looks for characters it makes it more realistic brings it up to where it'll match the rest of your collection no matter if it's movie cartoon tv show whatever i do notice in the loose pictures he's missing the breathing tubes that run around to the back but if you look at the package shot they are in there so i'm guessing 
they either took it out and it fell off or it didn't make it with this figure that they took pictures of. But that brings up the question, why go with comic book Chris Anton and Bad Batch Cad Bane? I, I think this was a conscious decision to have these two characters out near the time of the show because they were informed that they were going to be on the show at some point. And Hasbro, instead of using concept art or preliminary footage that can be changed at any point up until the show airs because of how things work now, I think they chose to go with older looks that they could get close to. And I know what you're saying. Chris Santon doesn't look like a lot of his appearances in the comic book. But they used what they had. And then, hopefully... This is a placeholder or a step to getting those Book of Boba Fett looks further down the line. Because that's how the timeline's been. We're having to wait a year or so after a debut of a look or a character before we see them in plastic form or even solicited a lot of the time. I usually chalk that up to <laughs> the way things are now, how they are in the world. But again... I think I mentioned this during a weekly. There's also the license renewal that was hovering over their heads for a bit. I got to think that they had a slight fear that the license would go somewhere else. So they didn't want to get hard and heavy. They didn't want to have a lot of prototypes, a lot of money put into budgets that may not materialize. Perfect world. They've been playing it safe. And now it's time to speed things up. There's still long wait times. I, I can't remember. I think uh, Cad Bane said December, which is a while off. But again, I think they're giving themselves a lot of lead time to temper expectations to keep us from going, well, you passed this deadline. Where is it at? Instead, if they release these in June, July, August, they're still beating their deadline of December, even though that's still a ways out. So, I don't know. A, a, a lot of... Uh, interpretation going on and you can call me an apologist or whatever that's just the way i'm choosing to look at this i want to enjoy things i want to look on the bright side that's that's all i'm trying to say looking at the overall picture looking beyond these it's also easy to lose perspective and i am as guilty as anybody else because it's easy to look at what they're showing us at that exact moment and going man that's a lot of reuse <laughs> why this line oh why are you trying to hurt me but then you look at all the releases, the wave 31 that's been trickling out over the past few months, that is a fantastic wave. There's a lot of unique sculpting, great character choice from several sources. Then there's the wave they just solicited that may be next week, it may be next January. Again, another amazing looking wave with a lot of new sculpt. With the slowed down pace we've seen recently, uh, it's easy to focus on the exclusives, the reuses the redos, the archive waves, and the comic book lines. There are some bad choices in this line, especially that archive C-3PO. Why? But there's still also a lot of good. What it comes down to is you have to make your own decisions. If you don't like that black chrysanthemum, do not get it. Which I always feel like is the biggest message we can send to Hasbro. But they can also interpret that two different ways. They can say, oh, well... We hear you. We screwed up. Yeah, it's not exactly what you wanted. We'll do better. Here's another version down the line. Or they'll look at it as, well, I guess Black Chrysanthemum doesn't sell. Why should we do the other version? So I'm going to say right now, Hasbro, we want Black Chrysanthemum from the Book of Boba Fett. I say we. I don't like talking for everybody. Me, speaking for myself, I need that figure. Like I said, Black Chrysanthemum is a fan channel, so it's available at all the online retailers. Cad Bane is Amazon exclusive and was available for about 15 minutes before it sold out. Hopefully, being Amazon, it'll pop back into stock at some point before it releases. And that's all I got to say about that. I, I, you know me, I'm a fairly positive guy. Just because I don't mind it doesn't mean you can't be pissed off. Hey. We all do this hobby different. So I'm going to just let this fade to black.
I say all this as I've just finished the custom of my Book of Boba Fett Cad Bane. He's using the body of the Clone Wars Cad Bane, which is not accurate. He was more realistic in the TV show <laughs> with a custom. I'm like, well, that's good enough. <laughs> I'm also chopping on a Chewbacca. See what I can do about making a black Kersantan from the show. Perfect world. Hasbro will make these obsolete at some point in the future. Either way, I still had fun making them, and that's really all that matters.